male is a seven and a half year old male. He's got a totally different coat texture to Chloe. He doesn't have as much colour, but it's still soft and silky. And you must always make sure when grooming a dog, you groom the layers. So lift the coat up and groom from the skin, right down to the skin. That's where all the knots form. Lift up, drop down and keep going through until you can get right through the coat. Lift again. Do it more than once because the second time round you'll find other little tags and knots. You must be groomed right through to the skin, otherwise your dog will knot and felt up. A plain blade. This is a number five blade. Um, you might want to use a seven blade, but just be careful. Don't dig into the coat. Just let the blade glide over the hair. Stand. Straight down the back, then from the middle down at a 45 degree angle. As you can see, this takes off a lot more coat than when you've got it with a comb on using a different blade. But I just want to show uh, what someone might like to use as a pet trim. Now at a 45 degree angle. If I went round this more and dug it in there, it would take all this skirt away. I prefer to leave my skirt, but if you want to do that, then this is still the same technique. But I'm not actually touching the skin, I'm just gliding over the coat until you get it to the length that you want to be finished at. Hold, be very, very careful of the boys with the testicles. Hold them out the way, just like you do for the girls uh, with their private parts. Just keep it down. Go in as far as the hock. If you want to, you can take the hock away. But if you're showing your dog, do not take any further than the hock, which is here. Again, if you wanted to take the hair right down off the leg coat, you would take it in a lot more and just keep going over it. But once you've gone over the coat once, it's best to stop at one stage. In a moment, I'll stop and I'll comb hair through so I get out all of the loose hair before I take the next layer off so I can actually see what's left. Because you've always taken more hair out than you think. Lift up the neck. Keep the ears out of the way. As far as the breastbone for this, or further if, again if you want a very short dog. I've gone over the whole coat once, so I'm now going to just comb out any excess hair before I decide whether I want to take off another layer or take it as far as uh, the skin like some people do but you still need to leave a down, um, a down of hair or a small amount of hair all over the dog so how far you go is entirely up to you the principle is the same no matter how much you take off your dog what style you're doing on your dog the principle is the same. It's how far you go with the clipping and the blades that you're using. 
So I think we can probably just do, uh, for him I'm just going to do one more layer uh, and then that will probably be uh, enough because I prefer to leave a little more hair on the coat. Here in England we don't have hot summers or not at the moment. Okay. So still using the five blades from the top of the head down to the tail and then down 45 degrees sliding over the coat. The coat's completely clean and not free. If I had not, the blade would get stuck and you wouldn't be able to move it at all and it would get caught in the dog's coat. So it's important your dog is clean and it's important your dog is well groomed before you start. Apart from that, if you use clippers or scissors on a dog that's dirty, it will glunt them and you'll just end up spending more money on the cost of resharpening or new equipment. Move the ear out the way. Just do there and down the shoulder from the neck at the back of the ear. As you can see, Ruffles quite used to the way I do it. He almost lifts his head up, knowing which way I'm going to go because he's used to having this done. That's as far as I would like to take down on Ruffle. So I'm now going to use my scissors um, to even the hair out. Um, but first of all, before I finish with the clippers, I'll do his tummy. Good. And I'll Lift the hair out of the way and go up. Again, be very, very careful of males. Don't catch them at all. It will make them very, very sore. And the ear, again where the ear naturally folds, hold it flat and go down the ear with the blade, keeping it flat. 